Hello again. So I already opened Maya, and let's learn about extruding bevel. What can they do? Let's go to the poly modeling and choose cube again, or maybe sphere this time. Click uh, R to scale it and W to move it up. Before we start extruding things, let's learn about edges, faces, and vertices. If we right click the sphere and it should be selected, also. Another menu appears, uh, and among other things, there here you can see vertex, edge, face, and so on. If we choose vertex, many purple dots will be visible. We can move them, scale, or rotate. Let's zoom in and select these four vertices and press W on your keyboard if move tool isn't visible. When you select edges, faces, or vertices, you always should check if other things, other vertices, or in this case, are selected. And if I look around, I will see that this four is also selected and I don't want them. So I'm going to select this and click this one and then shift click others. And check again to see that nothing got selected and move them. I can also select one dot, maybe this one here, this one, this one, and this one. And look, we're looking, no, it looks like a wolf. I'm going to say that it looks like a wolf. Let's choose edges now. And with edges, we can move these lines. If you want to select this side, this whole edge, you have to double click it and look around. The other side won't be selected. Shift, double click and the whole edge will be selected. But I don't want it right now. It will be weird if we move. Look what, what will happen. Control Z to undo. I'm going to click this edge and move them. You can also click R or E to rotate. And now we're going to select my favorite, uh, which is face. And with face, we can select all these empty spaces here and move as well. Move or even scale. Now, for example, I want to move this weird looking sphere aside. If I press W and decide to move, only the faces that are selectable will be moved not the whole object. Of course, we can drag the mouse around this shape and then move. But what we do is that we have to get out of face mode or edge mode or vertices mode. And we do this by right clicking again and choosing object mode. Now we can move this side. Same things can be done with the cube. Scale it, move up, select edges. Move, move, and it it already looks uh, like old TV we had in 90s. We can shift select this one and scale and maybe move up. Now let's see what extra does. I'm going to move this uh, cube aside as well, object mode, and then move it. Where I'm moving it, just here, somewhere. And let's create a sphere again. Scale up. Now, you can find extrude everywhere. We can go to the modeling toolkit and extrude is visible here. We can also go to edit mesh. And extrude is here. We and the shortcut is Control E. We can also see extrude on the poly modeling panel, and also we can press Shift and right click, and here's extrude. But first of all, we should select parts we want to extrude. For example, I'm going to choose face and uh, select these three faces. And then click extrude. And now a bit strange looking arrows appear. Let's drag blue one 
And you can see, unlike the Mewtwo, we have better shaped looking sphere. There is a tiny little mouse, little menu, not mouse, little menu as well. Now, let's look at this part, keep faces together and what it does. If I select these faces again, click extrude or control E and click here and drag mouse to set it on off and then extrude, it does what it says. It doesn't keep faces together anymore. In first example it was, now it is what other things do, do is that let's click this face, Ctrl E and go to thickness and it does what we were doing with the mouse and local Z also does the same thing in this case, but not always. And divisions are divisions and offset is also quite interesting tool. So let's look it closely, click on offset and drag it. I can't control it quite well right now, but if I click control, look what happens and drag with middle mouse button. We just created a face inside this face and extrude. Not, not this direction, this direction. A divisions. And we have now many faces and we can extrude Control E, okay, not the right. Control E, up. Control E, and so on. Let's move it aside and do same thing with cube. Create cube. And uh, this arm, extrude edges. Control E. It's like we just open the box. We should also extrude this side and this side as well. At the same time, we can do it at the same time, but yeah, it did. There is no but. And we can remove this face and voila, we have I box, but these parts are not the same as this one. So what we can do is to go um, mesh display in reverse. This one as well. Mesh display reverse, and now faces, black faces, or um, facing each other. And we have open box, and we can also extrude faces. Uh, click W, and I'm going to show one thing. In this case, it is quite usable. If we click Shift and go to this arrow, extrude will appear, and we can extrude now. It's quite a great discovery for me. Shift, extrude. Shift, extrude. Shift, extrude, and we can play with it the way we want. We can R shift earlier, and we did offset. We can do same thing with it. This is the same thing. Offset W shift W extrude. So this is really weird looking um, something. And as you can see with extrude, interesting things can be done. And it is used all the time. Now, um, object, mold, move everything aside and see what bevel does. I'm gonna create cube, scale and bevel. And look what happened. Again, tiny little menu appears. And here, in fractions, we can control it. So if we click Control and drag to control it better, 
with a mouse can make this kind of weird shape or you can make it a bit good looking like you can also type here and look it looks better you can give segments and make it curvy as well we can also go to this side and maybe bevel what parts can we bevel? Now bevel this side. Can make it like this and maybe uh, segments, add segments. And look, we created <laughs> really um, weird shapes. Anyway. In the next lesson, we are going to try to make a curved monitor and maybe desk as well and maybe a scene as well and light it up. Thank you for watching and see you soon.